the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Uh, once again, it is a beautiful late August day across green country. Don't always get to say that this time of year, especially compared to what we were dealing with this time last week. Gathering in place looking beautiful as always. There is a little more humidity in spots today. Temperatures are a couple degrees warmer, uh, so you're going to notice that I think a little bit. But overall, we are still doing really well. 84 slight heat index factor. That's not much of one. It's really not. But just compared to where we were yesterday, it's slightly more noticeable. Slight uh, light north breeze. Those dew point values have been about 65. 66 so maybe slightly sticky at times those will drop a little bit through the afternoon so we're still not anticipating anything major as far as you know the heat is heat and humidity are concerned temperatures are mid to upper 80s right now again for most of us this is probably uh, three to five degrees warmer than we were at lunchtime yesterday uh, areas with a few clouds maybe just a, a little bit lower than that again you know, those dew points in the 60s i do think these will drop back off over the next couple of days so slightly more humidity today but we head to wednesday thursday friday late in the week not only temperatures are still good but humidity values are very pleasant now just in time for especially i think the tail end of the second half of the upcoming labor day weekend the heat and humidity will be climbing not up here at least that's the plan right now is we're not pushing things back up to the top end, the ridiculous end of the muggy meter as far as humidity goes. But I do think by Sunday into Labor Day Monday, the humidity will be coming back at us a little bit more. So highs today, again, uh, above yesterday. Yesterday was mid to upper 80s. Today it'll be upper 80s where there's a little more cloud cover, low 90s where we have more sunshine, just about a 10 mile an hour north breeze and some passing clouds. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, as that little cloud deck comes rolling through today, we might see a couple sprinkles in spots. Would not shock me to see a little tiny shower or a couple sprinkles on radar later on today. If you get under one, you know, don't let it you know mess with any of your plans because it won't last long. Tomorrow morning, once again, we're in the 60s outside of the metro, low 60s, very comfortable. Tomorrow afternoon, almost identical to today, maybe about a degree lower, upper 80s, low 90s. Again, lack of humidity, very nice for our Wednesday. Back to the tropics, of course, very active, Hurricane Idalia and also Hurricane Franklin. Now, we haven't talked about Franklin as much. Of course, obviously, it's not impacting the U.S. It's going to stay out to sea, thankfully, because it is a monster of a storm, Category 4 hurricane that's going to skirt by Bermuda. It does produce, it will be producing some pretty da dangerous riptides for the eastern United States. So that one, of course, giving them some impacts. But everyone's watching Hurricane Idalia at this point. As I mentioned, now moving up into the Gulf of Mexico and intensifying. And still, just because of uh, the atmosphere that it's moving into and how warm the Gulf waters are, it will still likely intensify to major hurricane status by early tomorrow morning as it makes landfall uh, on the Florida Gulf Coast region as a Category 3 hurricane and, you know, in further intensification, it's a possibility. Now, of course, this is just the track of the center of the storm. The impacts will be well outside of the center of the storm, especially all along that Florida Gulf Coast from near Tallahassee down to Tampa. Some very significant storm surge, several feet of storm surge appears likely. Uh, eventually, as we head towards late in the week, what's left of it will drift back out to the ocean and the remnants of it may hang in the Atlantic for quite a while after that. But again, still a big impact for Florida tomorrow. Part of the big picture here is there's Idalia making landfall. The upper level ridge that was responsible for our major heat wave, of course, has been off to our west this week. Late in the week, comes back our direction. So over the weekend, that's what cranks the heat back up. Now, underneath that ridge, this little storm system, Sunday into Labor Day Monday, comes drifting north. That might be just enough to trigger maybe a scattered shower storm or two as we head towards Labor Day Monday. But other than that, as that ridge starts to move back in, that means the temperatures gradually start to climb once again as well. So once again, the emphasis, as we've been saying the last couple of days, is to enjoy what we've got. Uh, 90, low 90 degree readings for our highs the next several days. Morning staying comfortable, again, not too much humidity. So really through the end of the week, it looks terrific for late August standards. And then just slowly cranking that heat back up as we head through the Labor Day weekend. The mornings have been fantastic.